We're looking at climate change and its impact on Connecticut now and in the future. Warming temperatures and a longer growing season pose a unique challenge to Connecticut farms. First Alert meteorologist Bob Maxson introduces us to local farmers who see New England's changing climate firsthand. This second generation farmer, Irv Silverman, has been around long enough to see climate change impacts firsthand. And he's concerned about the future at his farm and for his grandchildren, whether they farm or not. For his crops, mainly apples and peaches, climate change is creating problems by producing too much rain, like this past April. Well, the springs have been getting warmer and wetter. There's the problem. I'm actually holding some peaches in my hand, peach blossoms, and Peaches are pollinated by bees, like everything else. When it stays wet, bees don't work. They don't pollinate. So be it tomatoes, be it anything, apples, peaches, they have to have that window for pollination. We have a very wet spring. We have a lot less production. The shorter cold season and warmer and sometimes wet springs have allowed pests to flourish. Right now, Silverman Farms has a great pick-your-own-family-fun farm going, where the peaches and apples are the primary crops. But in a warming world, what could this farm produce in 50 years? From the south, coming up, uh, it's not really a joke, but I could see, you know, palm trees and oranges here. I may not be here for it. But with climate change, these are the things that happen. He may be onto something. As the coldest recorded temperatures rise each year, the ability to grow different things becomes a real possibility. To date, climate change has not impacted the farm's yield, but it has created new challenges. So what would a farm look like if it primarily took the growing season out of the equation and grew produce 12 months of the year? Let's float this idea and look at hydroponics. Right here in Cheshire at Maple Lane Farms too. The main ingredients for farming? Well, you need plenty of bright sun, nice seasonable temperatures and dark fertile soil. But here, there is no soil. Meet Brant Smith of Maple Lane Farms. He is effectively controlling the environment and attempting to be climate change proof. Hydroponics grows produce in super clean, mineral packed water. That's right, no soil. In these immense greenhouses, Maple Lane Farm can grow bib lettuce, among other things, every single day of the year. Hydroponics is basically growing in water uh, with the nutrients added to the water and providing for the plants everything that they need. Three main advantages of this futuristic farming? It's a controlled environment so that there are no pests uh, because we're inside and so we don't use pesticides or fungicides. We're able to provide exactly the nutrients that the plants need so that each and every harvest is perfect. The plants, as a third thing, would be, I would say, almost coddled to the point where you're getting something with a best taste. By using shades and LED lighting, fans to circulate air, and the ability to precisely control the water temperatures, hydroponics can deal with a hotter and wetter world, taking on climate change head on. In a warming world, the biggest challenge and cost for hydroponics is keeping the greenhouses cool with massive air conditioners, at the same time keeping the water temperature at the optimal growing level. It's a cost that Maple Lane accepts as part of the process as they try to climate proof their farm and also look to diversify what they can produce in the future. I'm Bob Maxson, NBC Connecticut News.